Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It is a few minutes after 7, and speaking of 7, it is 17 degrees outside. That's bitter cold, and we're going to use that to talk about bitter trials. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Um, it's cold although I've got the heater on and, and actually I saw somebody post this morning as I was thumbing through my feet I have a roof over my head and heat God is good yeah it's true because that could not be the case welcome everybody this is seven minutes in the morning the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership my name's Tom Rigsby and um, I'm the guy that talks at you for the next few minutes. But you have an opportunity to talk back to me as well down in the comments. You can leave one down there. Say hi, hello, good morning. Uh, Won't you comb your hair? Whatever you want to say can go down there in the comments. I just appreciate seeing that you guys are here. And by the time we get to the end, if you've gotten any value at all from our time together, I would appreciate the old stars, likes, hearts, thumbs up, whatever is appropriate. In the venue where you are watching or listening, I bring that camera up a little bit so it's not cutting the top of my head off. Maybe just sit back a little bit. Ah, uh, say it does say it's 17 degrees outside. Man, that's cold. So, our quote today comes from Oscar Wilde, who says, What seems to us as bitter trials are often blessings in disguise. So I'm going to try and use that this morning <laughs> as my basis. What seems to us as bitter trials are often blessings in disguise. You know, a lot of times we will look at those things, look at the difficulties that we encounter, and just think, man, why me? In fact, I'm going to tell a story on my wife since she just left. Um, there was uh, this time where... <laughs> She, <clears throat> she was cutting the grass. We, were, we lived in a neighborhood with a relatively small backyard. We had to push more. She was back there cutting the grass. There was this, uh, our oldest daughter played softball. Giant net there so that I could, you know, soft toss the balls up. She could hit them into the net. The net would catch the balls. And, uh, but I mean, it was huge. It's probably 10 feet um, circumference not circumference, diameter. Anyway, it didn't lean right. She hit the balls too high. So I tied this brick to the back of it to get it to stand up higher. All right, so fast forward. My wife's out there cutting the grass. She's frustrated because this net's in the way. She reaches out, grabs it by the net, and thinks to herself, I know this because she told me, why can't just one thing be easy in my life? Grabs the net flings it back around this way and turns back this way just in time to meet the brick right here in front of her face. Whack, hits her right in the mouth, uh, breaks a tooth, does some of those things. All right, so here's the, the point of sharing that story, telling that story on her. The things that we think in the moment are difficult might be there for a reason. And, and, and the reason might be just to say, you know, it could be a lot worse. And in fact, a lot of times I will tell people, how you doing? I um, could be a lot worse. Just to remind myself that no matter what circumstances I'm in today, be it 17 degrees or what have you, that it could be worse. I could not have a roof or the heat could not be working or what have you. Right? So... The other point that I kind of want to make with this is I'm going to lean back on the the last <clears throat> excuse me last lecture <coughs> by Randy Posh. In that book, he says that the brick walls are not there to keep us out; they're there to make us prove how much we want it. So when you encounter difficulty, 
right? Maybe that difficulty is there for you to prove to yourself how badly you want this outcome. Now, if you don't have a specific outcome in mind, if you're not working toward a goal, if you don't have this, this dream, this big, hairy, audacious goal that you're working toward and you run into difficulty, then maybe it's just difficulty, right? You, you put yourself in a bad situation, but if you have this goal and you're working toward the goal and as you approach the goal, something gets hard, that's, that's a really good sign that that's there just to see how badly you want it. So as you go through your day to day, whether it's, you know, having to go out in the frigid cold ugh, to start your car or getting warm in the car and then getting to the office and having to go from the car into the office, whatever the case might be for you, when you encounter those difficulties today, I want you to think, is, is this a test to see if I'm in the right direction you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm going towards something that I really want, or is this just difficult because I, I've created a difficult, difficult set of circumstances for myself, right? And then adjust accordingly, all right? Thank you so much for being here. I bet that you know one person who could benefit from hearing this message today. I'd love it if you would click on the share button down there. Good morning, Catherine. If you'd click on the share button right underneath this video, audio, or blog post that you're reading and share it with that one person in your network who needs to hear this message. They will appreciate it. I will too. And uh, don't forget the old heart, stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate where you watch or listen. I will be back again tomorrow. Catherine, you can go back and listen to the replay. But I'll be back here again tomorrow with a whole nother full, brand new, will be brand new tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be brand new tomorrow. Installment <laughs> of seven minutes in the morning. Till then, you guys have a, uh, a warm, wonderful, and safe, be safe, Wednesday. Take care.